130, 150 discharge chutes, they're the same across the range, held in place by two toggle bolts. They only need to be just a bit more than hand tight to loosen them off to position your chute and then lock them down in place again before driving off. This loose bolt here, uh, that's in place as a safety device, so you have to use a thought process and extra tools to lift off the discharge chute so that you can't put your hand down inside it while the machine's running without a clear thought process. Fillet of steel there, all discharge chutes cannot be turned around by 360 degrees. That prevents it being turned around over the top of the operators, a common feature on all wood chippers. Discharge its chute itself. Uh, if you need to drop the chute down to get it into a low building for storage, support the chute, undo the two bolts, rest the chute down on the front of the machine. And once you've finished, rear it back into place and put the uh, securing bolts in before driving away. Same with the water wood chippers, they have to have sharp blades. So you do need to get in there on a regular basis, part of the daily checks even, to check the conditions of the blades. On the Arborist 150 range, you need a 19mm spanner and you've got two bolts to undo. Remembering that the fat washer is used to pull the chamber down and the thin washer pulls it into the sidewall. When you're looking at the flywheel, it's recommended that you do wear gloves because there are sharp blades on there, but the, blade, the flywheel themselves can be dirty and there can be other sharp bits in there, so it is advisable to wear sturdy gloves. On the 150, we have a, a, a flywheel lock here, so when you get the position of the, the flywheel in the right place, you can undo the lock, and that's it locked in the correct place for when you're getting to the blades but using both hands, pull towards you, you are fighting a bit of compression at times, turn the rotor over so you can see all the blades and check the condition of the, those cutting edges. they have to be sharp. If you need to get to the blades to rotate them, find the right position, put in your latch, take this cover off, there's a couple of clamps, one on this side, one on that side, a little bolt here, and then you can lift the panel out all together. Once the top cover is removed, a 13mm spanner, undo these two little bolts here. That gives you access through the panel there to the blades. While the cover's off, you can see the grease nipple there for the moving roller on the carriage for the moving roller and also a grease nipple which greases one of the two main rotor bearings.